Welcome back to another exciting episode of Flag Down. And today we have American War of Independence or American Revolution. If you want to be less dramatic. Now this is a trifle that which was kind of had the war at that time, and I let it go where while we do this. So this is not the flag of the United Kingdom, it's the flag of Great Britain. This is also not called the Union Jack. It needs the red extra for the Union Jack. This is clearly just Great Britain or the British Empire. Now, they were the enemies in this war, depending on if you're American or English, but we see them as the enemies of the war. So now we have this flag. When we're all started, this, this is the Grand Union flag. Now, we also have this. It's not called the Dolchanami flag. It's called the Gadsden flag. You do still see this in use for uh, U.S. military personnel will use this. I think this, I think this shows up on a bunch of uh, a, uh, tanks during the Persian Gulf War. This, uh, bring it down a bit. This is the flag of, of the for, for the New England. The it was flown during the Battle of Bunker Hill. It's currently used by a U.S. soccer team. I think called the New England Patriots. And any people that watch American football are gonna be like, no, that's not the Patriots. But no, I think there is. I think the soccer team. It's called the Patriots as well. Yeah, we're not very creative when it comes to to naming our teams. There's a lot of teams that have the same name. But anyway, if you're a fan of that of uh, soccer and you know, put them in the comments. Because I don't remember which one that what's the name of the team. But this is the flag that he was used during the Battle of Bunker Hill. This is the flag that we all know as. The Betsy Ross flag. I have figured out why the audio in the previous videos was bad, and I've adjusted for that. The current thing for our own school, we were taught that Betsy Ross made this, and she handed it to, to Washington. But we know now that that was entirely a lie. Uh, her grandson came up with this story to sell more flags for the company he worked at. So it suggested that Francis Hopkinson actually designed this. Now, you don't know who Francis Hopkinson is. He signed the Declaration of Independence for New Jersey. He was the governor of New Jersey at the time. This is called the Cowpens flag. It's also used. And if you take this tiny little star and you make it this big, you got a flag from the Fallout series. Which is nice to know that, that they took this flag and got inspired for a video game. Another U.S. battle flag. This, the Hopkinson flag. Okay, it's, it's everything is the same with the last three. Same starts, just this is the only difference. But Hawkinson is Hawkinson is known to design this flag. The Betsy Ross one is it suggested that he did that one. Now we're gonna get off the land. No, it's not the flag of Hawaii, although Hawaii has a similar style of colors there. This is the Serapidist flag. John Paul Jones. Captain John Paul Jones flew this as his standard on his flagship. And it's called the flagship because this was his flag. It was flying on that ship, and that was the one up front. All the other ships in his, in his squadron were behind 
and this would be flying up front to let the English know John Paul Jones just showed up. There was a point where the English claimed that this was a pirate flag, specifically because John Paul Jones was actually using pirate tactics, such as his ship sunk, he captured one called the Serapides and took it over. Which, that's not a naval rule. You don't steal people's ships in the Navy. You do if you're a pirate. A captured ship in the Navy would be taken back to a port and just held. This is the flag for the for Bunker Hill, the Battle of Bunker Hill. Um, it's the only one that starts white, that starts with white, red, white, red. All the others start red, white. This is the only one where the quarter is larger than a quarter. They're called quarters because it's this corner. It would be a quarter, and that would be a quarter, 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 but. That's more than a quarter. It's got the right... That side is correct, but this side is too long for it to be a quarter. And it's the only U.S. flag that has this uh, tall quarter. The colonial Americans and the English were not the only people fighting this war. There were indigenous people fighting for both sides. Uh, one of them was Blue Jacket. He fought for the English. Why, uh, that's probably why he's never even mentioned in schools, because he would have been considered an enemy. But we have, this is the flag of Prussia. Why is Prussian flag here? You're asking so kindly. Well, one of the commanding officers of the Continental Army, well, uh, isn't he? it's Friedrich Wilhelm Ugisht Struben, he was a commander and he had a lot, he had a Prussian army with him basically. I don't think it was a full-sized army, it may have been more like two or three divisions, but Prussians fought for the continental side. Now, Prussians are also ethnically German. There were also other Germans that fought on the English side called Hesh. There are Hessian soldiers. The Hessians come from a region called Hesh. Just a, so you know. Now, the French fought on the Americ on the continental side, but this was not the flag of France at the time because it was the King of France. This becomes this shows up as the first Republican flag, or the the flag of the first French Republic, which you don't see until Napoleon Bonaparte shows up. But I don't have a French flag for that era. So, realist, just imagine, no white, no, no red there, solid blue, it has a fleur de lis, fleur de lis, and a fleur de lis. That was the flag of the Kingdom of France, and then if you take, make it white again, no blue, no red, a fleur de lis, and some stuff underneath it is the flag of the King of New France, which was a colony. In the Americas, they had people fight for in, uh, for the American independence because the French didn't like the English, of course, and someone else who didn't like the English, the Spanish. This is the flag of New Spain. They also didn't like the English. Yeah, so New Spain also flew, also fought during the American Revolution, but not. Those two groups didn't, the French and the, and the Spanish didn't fight for the entire portion of it. They got into it late into, the, into it. The war didn't, like in school they tell us it's 1776, but that's not it. That's when it was declared. The actual revolution starts in 1775 with the Battle of Bunker Hill. And it ends in 1781. But by 17, I think 1780s when the the French fully get involved, or no, I think they're fifth, I think they're 1779, the French get involved, 1780 is when the Spanish get involved, and blah, 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 and as they say, the rest is history. Now, if you like that, press, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, 
you haven't subscribed, please do. Follow me on Twitter. I need the followers. It's not fun sending out tweets to nobody. I'm lonely on Twitter. So if you want to support the channel on Patreon, please do. You know, as your own supporters at Patreon. YouTube has a thing about blocking out that link, so I'm not even going to bother putting it in the description. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.